Hey, good morning. This is Stuck in Traffic with Wolf Gorlick. A few minutes of uh, IT security. So, vigilantes. We all want to be the vigilantes. There's something about that rogue streak combined with, uh, with the propensity to do good that really resonates with people, right? I mean, Robin Hood and stories of his ilk go back forever. And uh, today it's Batman, right? We all want to be Batman. Actually, the guy was interviewing, I'm like, what's your five-year plan? I want to be Batman. Everyone wants to be Batman, uh, which is awesome. So it's not surprising that the concept of uh, vigilante uh, hackerism is hackerism? Hacktivism? Vigilante security tactics are, uh, are back uh, in conversation, right? Spurred on by some comments by Chris Roberts, who's talking about some uh, some polite and, and helpful malware he wrote. So this isn't anything new. We've had uh, the helpful worm for probably close to a decade, if not more. Uh, a couple months back, there was actually some uh, helpful botnet software that would come in, infect your machine, join you to the botnet, then uh, kindly download Windows patches and uh, ran a very simple antivirus to keep out competitors. Very nice, very friendly, friendly botnet. Uh, the, the latest that I was looking at yesterday was Wi-Fatch. So Wi-Fatch, which is a portmanteau a Wi-Fi and patch, Wi-Fatch, is just what the name implies, just what the label says. It is a malicious code that patches your Wi-Fi. Here's how it works. Um, taking advantage of known weaknesses, in Linux routers, uh, primarily like you know the, the consumer brand routers, Wi-Fatch will infect your router. It will disable Telnet. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that. It will disable Telnet. It will scan the router for known bad uh, processes. Like, hey, is someone else already breaking? Uh, is this a pre-owned router? All right, that's a bad pun. <laughs> is, is this router already infected? If it finds those processes, it will kill them, terminate them, uh, and remove them. So, disable on it, kill the competition. Then, it does two extra things, which I think is kind of interesting. It will prompt the user to change their password and prompt the user to update their firmware. Wi Fatch. And uh, this one, like the one from a couple months ago, doesn't appear to join the equipment to any malicious uh, botnet. It still is a botnet, I mean, it's communicating with the command and control back to Pastebin for commands. Uh, but at this point in time, does not seem to be doing anything malicious. Just kindly, helpfully uh, updating people's routers. Interesting. I, uh, I personally am not a big fan of activism, vigilantes. Those outside the update process must be stopped. I'm not a big fan of those guys uh, for, for several reasons. Maybe in the consumer space, okay, uh, but a lot of our clients have delayed patching cycles for a reason, right? It breaks business applications. Uh, also, also there's uh, no control over the code, right? So even if Wi-Fetch is completely safe, even if the the uh, owners of Wi-Fatch and the, the pup masters are completely uh, great guys, white hats. Who's to say there isn't a vulnerability in Wi-Fatch that won't allow some bad guys to take control of it? Who's to say that the, the great guys who are running it won't step down or lose control of their bot now, right? So A, patches break things, we already know this. Um, I'm not all that sold on friendly malware that's going to apply patches without a control, and B, there's no way of ensuring that that uh, malicious software on our systems will stay in the hands of the good guys. So, if you're looking for something to read today, check out Wi-Fetch. If you're looking for something to watch, uh, Chris Roberts, you know, zip through the talk as Gurkhan Talkie touches on some of the vigilante software he's working on about, uh, I think it's about maybe a half hour into it. And uh, let me know what you think. All right. Cheers.